Hey, what's happening, buddy? This is Hayden Adams, and I'm talking all about the Gatsby plugin image. This is one of the coolest tools to use in Gatsby in version three. How cool? This cool. As in, no GraphQL, really easy to write cool. As in, if we inspect this picture, we can see it's not only JPEG cool, but WebP cool. Okay, enough of the cools. I'm gonna break down how static image works in three steps. Step one is I'm gonna show you how to install the critical plugins to make the static image work inside of your Gatsby project. Step two, I'm gonna go over the basics of how Gatsby static image works and stick around to the end because in step three, I'm gonna go over the cooler aspects of how Gatsby static image really works. And with that, let's get started. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna use the Gatsby starter hello world, which you can find at gatsbyjs.com slash starter slash gatsbyjs slash gatsby starter hello world, or just do a quick Google search for Gatsby starter hello world. So if I come down to the bottom, I'm gonna copy this GitHub repo, and inside my terminal, I'm gonna call this Gatsby new, and we'll say it's the Gatsby static image folder name. Drop it in and we're off to the races. While this is installing, I'm gonna come back, I know I'm back in Safari for a second, and I have to utilize a couple plugins. So the Gatsby plugin image utilizes the Gatsby plugin image, the Gatsby Sharp, the file system, and I haven't installed the Gatsby Transformer Sharp, so I have to do it as well. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make this not full screen, is I'm gonna copy and paste everything to the right of NPM install. I like using yarn for my project, so I'm gonna use yarn add, but you can also say npm install. It works the same way. I'm gonna copy all four of those plugins. And just to make sure it's working first, I'm gonna CD and we'll go into the Gatsby static image and we'll do a quick Gatsby develop. I always wanna make sure it installs properly just in case something doesn't go right. I wanna stop and double check it all. Make sure you have the latest version of Gatsby to at least 2.24, or more importantly, I do recommend Gatsby version three for this. And so far, so good. Cool, hello world, amazing. All right, let me stop the dev, dev server, and that's totally fine, doesn't bother me at all. I'm then gonna say yarn, add, and then paste in all four of those. Yes, it will yell at me the first time, so I will get rid of my package lock.json in my Gatsby static image folder. There we go, and we're gone. And while this is going, so far so good. Again, no error messages, I'm pretty happy how it's working. I also need to bring in some sort of picture. So while this is installing, in my Gatsby static image folder, because I used hello world, there are no pictures. So I'm gonna create an images folder and in here, I'm gonna move this palm tree photograph that I have, not into the source folder, but into the image folder. Cool. Everything looks like installed properly. So we'll do a Gatsby develop just to make sure again it works. I run this a lot. Now keep in mind, I can't edit my project while in my Gatsby file, my Gatsby config, while I'm running my dev server. But again, it's working, no error messages. Awesome, so let me just stop this. That's again, totally fine by me. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into Gatsby config and I have to add a couple of these plugins. So what it's asking for are a couple things. It needs the first, the plugin image, the plugin sharp and the transformer sharp. So I will copy these needed for dynamic images. That is correct and we'll drop them in and that's great. Now Gatsby currently does not know where that image is. So I don't think it has it down below. So what I have to do is I have to go look for that Gatsby source file system. And there it is and we're looking great. So I'm gonna copy and paste. Since I've already have it installed, I just have to tell Gatsby where that images folder is. So. I actually put it towards the top. That's just how I build my designs. So instead of saying pages, I'm gonna say images, 
and say images because I want to make sure I designate that the images folder is the images folder. And I have Gatsby plugin image, Gatsby plugin sharp, and Gatsby transformer sharp. Off to the races, fingers crossed. Let's see if it works. Now, while this is setting up, I am going to run GraphQL, not because I need to use it, but I just want to make sure that Gatsby sees this picture. Well, GraphQL is not needed. It's a great fail safe way to ensure that Gatsby does see your picture. So if you have any error messages down the road with the static image, we can address them at that time. So back to GraphQL I go, and I have all file, edges, node ID. And note it does see one picture, but that doesn't tell me much about the picture. So what I like to do is, I'm gonna come down and say relative path, and there it is, palm tree, perfect. So Gatsby sees the picture, that's awesome. Now we know it's gonna work. Well, unless we type something in wrong, then it won't work. But fingers crossed, it does work. So I'm gonna hide Safari, and over here with Gatsby config, I'm gonna close it up. And again, so far, nothing is having any error messages, which is great to see. So I can head to my index file under pages, index, and then Visual Studio Code. And now I have to do is I have to bring in the static image. So in my index, after React, I'm gonna say import, I usually open and close, leave it empty for a second, and then say from Gatsby static image. Or plug, sorry, not static image, Gatsby plugin image. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking and saying two different things. What I have to do is inside the curly brackets, here is where I say static image. And here is where we're going to pull from. So let's do a little housekeeping down below. And I'm gonna put hello world inside an H1 just because it looks cooler that way. And let's double check, make sure it's working. Hello world is now big and bold in the H1. Awesome. So the next thing I wanna do is I actually wanna utilize the static image. So I'm gonna say static image and it self closes because it is a picture. So not that, <laughs> I was trying to type the slash, there we go. And easier to read is I do drop it down and I indent inside the static image. So of course the most important part is I'm gonna say source equals and we'll say palm tree. Dot JPG and we do need a width. So we'll say width equals and we'll say 600 for right now. And we have to give an alt so we'll call it palm tree. And if we run this, nothing's going to work. That's okay, because we haven't actually declared where this picture is yet. Because the picture is inside the images folder, I have to say dot dot slash images palm tree. And now it appears, even though, and here's the trick that caught me for a second. If we go into Gatsby config, if you're used to running anything in GraphQL, well, yes, we did specify that the images folder is inside the source and images. And if you ran a GraphQL, it would totally work by just saying just the file name. The problem is it's a little different here because static image is based upon the file or the index.js, we have to go outside the folder source or pages and go inside the images and palm tree. And that's how you designate where your photo is. No, I do not recommend putting pictures inside the images folder. I don't recommend putting pictures in the pages folder. So please keep your file separate and just designate the two dots to go outside and the slash images slash palm tree. Here's the cool part. If I change to 1000, it'll Every so often gives me an error message. That's totally normal. I am running Gatsby image version three and every so often I do get these error messages. But if I just hit command R refresh the page, it works totally fine. Here's the cool part. If I refresh this, or I refresh this page, if I resize too many R words, check it out. It resizes and then stops at a certain size. 
So it is responsive by default. This is so awesome. So you can stop right here if all you want is the source, the width, and the alt. And if we double check the inspect, it automatically made the pictures of all the JPEGs and the WebP format. Again, note, I have no GraphQL here. This is so amazing. And notice how fast I accomplished that. But wait, there is even more. So by default, this blurs up. But what you can also leverage is a traced SVG for a placeholder. So what I can do is after the alt, I can say placeholder, hit equals, and you get a choice. By default, it is blurred, but you also get dominant color. I don't recommend none or a traced SVG. I just like the way the traced SVG looks. It's kind of hard to see because I am on a development server, but it does run a traced SVG by default before it loads up. How awesome is that? What you can also do is, as part of the WebP format, is I can also say quality and set, you know what, maybe I want this to be two. This is gonna be really bad, but I'm hoping I can see some difference. And it kind of is, It's if you look at it carefully, it's kind of hard to see on my screen, but this looks pretty hideous. This is a two out of 100. So I wouldn't do that, but if you do have a lot of pictures and you want this to load even faster, you can set it to be, let's say 40, and now I can barely, I can see a little artifacts on my screen, but I can almost not tell that this is ultra compressed. Again, I am building for speed here. And what I can also do is, which is also pretty cool, is I can have some transform options. So what I can do is, I can also say, you know what? I want this to be grayscale. Grayscale, there's the word I'm looking for, and true. And just like that, I've turned my picture to grayscale. Again, I don't have any GraphQL here. This is so, so powerful. But of course, the true answer or the true question is, is how fast does this load in relationship to the Google page speed index? So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, I'm not gonna save that file. I'm gonna build this and then let's run this and see how it actually looks in terms of how Google looks at it. So I'm gonna do a Gatsby build. And while this is running, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna head over to Netlify and log in. We've got some other projects here. And in my sites at the very bottom, I'm just gonna drag and drop this project. So it's almost done, building HTML render. Awesome, 19 seconds. So let's actually go and see how this works. So I have my public folder. I'm gonna drag it. And it has not yet been deployed. It has to upload the files. And pretty awesome. You know what, I don't actually want that black. Eh, I'll keep the black one for right now. So let's see how this looks on the Google page speed Insights, I said index before, I meant insights. So I'm gonna grab and drop it in because here's the mark to see if the static image really improves the speed or if we're just, well, pretending. Boom, I hit a pure 100 on the Google page insights. I have pure green across everything, desktop, 100. Now granted, this is an entire website. This is just one picture, but note that this picture did not slow my speeds down at all. I am at a pure 100 and a pure 100. Hello world it is and the palm trees. This is how amazing the Gatsby static image is.